Hello everybody. Today I thought I'd try and show you my first attempt at a Bedini multiple coil wheel. First thing I want to do is make it clear that this circuit came from American Kittler. If you'd like to get the details of the circuit, I'd log on to his link on YouTube. He gives a very good description of how it works and he shows a very good diagram. I did make some minor changes to his uh, circuit. I put in a couple of neon bulbs here to protect the uh, transistors. And I put in a little LED here just to tell me that the thing is on. <laughs> and I put in a pot and I measured the resistance and came up with uh, 1310 ohms and fixed resistors here. And the pot's a 1K adjustable. I have something unique about that I'll talk about a little bit later. Uh, I went to a few yard sales and I managed to find a used kid's bike, a 20 inch, for $12. I cleaned it all up and uh, degreased it and repacked the bearings in it. It isn't the best, but it works pretty good. And then I uh, took and I went in between every other spoke, as you can see here, every other spoke, and I laid out a location so I'd be right in the center. I center punched them and I drilled them all for clearance for a number six stainless steel inch and a half screw. On the screw I put two neominium magnets. They're one half inch in diameter, quarter inch thick with a quarter inch hole in the middle. I had the pole facing the north pole facing out I'm using one nut to hold the magnets firmly to the screw and then two nuts to hold it to the uh, wheel. Uh, the two nuts to hold the wheel allowed me uh, to be able to adjust the height of it so they're all exactly alike. They're very close anyway. You can see here a couple of little split shots from my tackle box that I added on that for balance. It works fairly good. It, it's not the best, but it runs fairly good. Just, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up here. That second coil here is just a straight one coil. It bounces around a little bit because the mounting isn't all that great when it first starts, but it calms right down. There she goes. I'm going to guess I got about 700 lines on my uh, by filer coil there. That works fairly well. Here's what's strange about this thing now, okay? Maybe somebody can help me out with it. Right now, I've got it running. On 1310 ohms, that's these two resistors right here. I'm going to turn the pot all the way up now. That'll put it at 2310 ohms. The speed doesn't change, it stays the same. That, that, that's what puzzled me. It doesn't matter if I turn it up or down or what I do to it and how long I leave it set, the speed doesn't change. Now the pot's all the way up, and right now I've got 2310 ohms on it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a little screwdriver and I'm going to short them transit the two resistors out, the 310 ohms right here. Now, can you hear the speed pick up? It was running about 180, now it's going to go all the way up to 250. With them. 310 ohm resistor shorted out with a screwdriver. Now I'm going to remove the screwdriver, turn the pot all the way down. So now I'm running on the 310 ohm resistors, these two right here. Pot's zeroed. <laughs> and my speed has come up to 250 RPM. I, I checked that with my little meter here. It works quite well. Right now I'm charging uh, these two batteries here. Seems to work quite well. 
We've got a little over 12 and a half. Those, those probably 12, 12, a little over 12 and a half. 12 and three quarter volts. These are uh, two six volt batteries that I have in series. I had one battery and I wanted to get 12 volts. So I went and bought another one and just put them in series and that works quite well. And then this is another uh, 12 volt battery. This is my run battery. It's running this unit. I have uh, a couple of little boards inside the wheel right here with slits in them. And then I want them on each side and they're pressing down on a plexiglass sheet here that's holding my coil in place. That works fairly well. Just some plywood, a couple pieces glued together on an old board I had. And I fastened the circuit right to the board. <clears throat> For now, anyway. I don't know if you know it or not, but I have a little clip over here. That's the trigger that's feeding the uh, resistance to the base of these transistors. I've done a lot of experimenting there with different uh, resistance. And this, what I have now, is the best. But why it's doing what it's doing, I don't know. Why, when I short it out, the uh, fixed resistors, it speeds, all, it speeds up considerably, almost 100 RPM. Uh, this is uh, the uh, circuit I use from American Kittler. You can see them right there. It's pretty much exactly what I did. Except, like I said, I, I put a neon from E to C emitted a collector on both of the uh, transistors. Okay. Take this off flower. I'm going to get back a ways here. So you maybe get a view of the whole thing. Works pretty good. Today I think I'm going to go down and buy some wire. And build me a bipolar coil. That's made out of all new wire instead of salvage wire. <laughs> See if it makes any difference. I've been putting off doing that for a long time. Well, if anybody can help me out with that one little goofy thing about the resistors in the pot, please do so. That's about it. Thank you very much for watching.